Hi everybody. Today I'm going to demonstrate you how Red Hat cluster in a, in a working in high availability environment. I have set up uh, a Red Hat cluster uh, for the demonstration on a VMA virtual machine or a VMA workstation. So I have uh, three virtual machines. Red Hat Cluster Node 1, Red Hat Cluster Node 2, and OpenFiler. OpenFiler is a shared storage. It's a, it is a freely available and it is a, it is a it is iSCSI storage. So you can download it freely from uh, OpenFiler uh, Open website. This is a website. Anyway, let's go. Let's log in to uh, Node 1, which is RHO1. Status. Let's see the cluster status. Yeah. In a cluster, there's two nodes, RHO1 and RHO2. And both nodes are available. The status is available uh, online. And uh, the service, uh, the service, uh, uh, web service, and uh, IP shared. This is a shared cluster IP address. So client connect this uh, shared IP address to get the to get the web service. Uh, web service in high availability environment so I have configured web service as a Apache which is uh, inbuilt in a Red Hat, Red Hat server so now the owner of service is RHO2 so both service available on a Red Hat node O2 not available in RHO1 RHO1 right, right now in a standby mode let's check whether my HTTP service running in node 1 The my web service is stopped in node 1 so probably this this started on node 2 let's check on node 2 sorry status yeah the old cluster right now active node is RHO2 so service should be available node two. yeah the web service running here let's check IP address this is my shared IP address 192.168.27.100 this is a cluster IP address this is a shared IP address this is my local node IP address 27.130 the shared IP address will not display in if config so please remember you can see shared IP address through the IP address command IP address command here is so now service available on node O2 and this is node 1. Let's check what is the configuration here. So start root start x is a GUI. Let's look on console. Yeah. Cluster manager system. This is a Red Hat uh, configuration uh, configuration manager. You can configure your cluster. There is utility also other uh, other utilities available, which is Conga. So you can uh, configure through the web utilities or uh, in a remote location as well as you can configure your cluster and then check your cluster status. So this is two cluster node RHO1 and RHO2. This is cluster node right now there are currently two member nodes you can add uh, in later um, uh, some more other nodes in this two node cluster in, in uh, suppose in tomorrow I want to add one more node then I use this uh, uh, this GUI mode and uh, cluster, config cluster configuration manager and uh, add one node in this available available clusters this is a fencing device. Uh, I don't have physical fencing on hardware fencing, so I'm using manual fencing. Generally, it is not recommended to use manual fencing in a production environment because this is a test environment, so I'm using manual fencing. The source manager, the failover domain, my failover domain, the name, this is the name of my failover domains. 
this is a field where a configuration now two nodes are available in my field over two means you can create uh, more than uh, one field over domain in a multi node environment this is very complicated uh, complicated configuration so I'm not going to show you that thing this is a resource now I have a resource HTTP which is uh, which is a web service and this is my shared IP address of cluster 1 and 2.6827.100 and this is a service which my clusters now this two services now available in a cluster environment which is web and IP share now uh, change to this interface uh, you have to uh, click this uh, you have to click this create button send to cluster so uh, the, the new configuration file automatically push to other nodes and uh, change to other nodes configuration in a runtime environment so this is required after changing let's click on uh, cluster management this is uh, now my service available and started on node 2 RHO2 and uh, which is linuxpector.org RHO2 linuxpector both are available you can enable and uh, disable the service restart the service and my cluster status uh, on member RHO1 and the cluster name is HTTP underscore cluster servers. Let's close this application. Uh, let me see how web interface.